I'm feeling a bit apprehensive. I would not come down here, not ever. Priest, very, very prominently connected to this house. This is children, children. I can see a hand on a glass door turning. So they were put in somewhere I can't see no. through. I can't see through. He was going to burn in hell, and he was never going to be forgiven. Don't do that. What's going on? Jackie. <laughs> This week, the rescue mediums visit the foreboding Wolf Manor, a large island home surrounded by graveyards and once owned by the powerful Catholic Church. Now owned by Martha and her husband Rod, a devout skeptic. I, I think I'm a, I'm a non-believer because I choose not to be. I don't want to believe in it. If I hear a noise, it's the wind. If the door is open, I forgot to close it. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, I, I'm not a believer. His wife, however, has had a far different experience. It was the feeling more than anything for me. Noises, um, lights off and on, just more feelings again of somebody being here, feeling like you were watched. Just a very sad and painful feeling when you came in here. The rescue mediums are on their way to help. Jackie and Christine are internationally renowned psychics who use their gifts to show wayward spirits into the light. With no prior knowledge of their destination, the rescue mediums discuss their premonitions of this week's haunting. I'm feeling a bit apprehensive, to be honest. Yes, I think we both are, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, I think this gentleman that's been following us around for a, a few days now. I've had people see three nuns in here. This is where one of Rod's biker friend's children saw the three nuns and started to cry like crazy. And of course, they left shortly after the father was terrified. And no, I keep getting this nun again, in wearing a gray cardigan, a nun with a gray yeah. cardigan. I know my friends used to see a boy on the stairs. He said he was about between eight and 10. I picked up two children yeah. in a grave. In a grave. Two children of the same family, and then a family in a grave. The rescue mediums use many psychic tools. Premonitions, psychometrics, and psychic drawings aid them in their task. I've drawn a, a priest, oh, a oh vicar or a priest. Yeah. Well, we shall have to go and see how right we've got this. <laughs> Jackie and Christine are the rescue mediums, psychics who make house calls. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hi. The rescue mediums present their psychic drawings that were sketched weeks before their arrival. These are physical representations of their premonitions. Um, this was done on the 22nd of September. If you notice, it's got the stairs going up. Wow. And it's got the cross-like thing on wow. the top. Wow. Yeah. Um, we're both in agreement that there's a very strong gentleman spirit here uh, connected to the church. A priest, very, very prominently, a priest connected to this house and nuns connected also to this property. We also feel there will be probably children here, but yeah. we need to investigate that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you this one. It's not, not very nice, but it's meant to represent the two sides of this man. OK, like the good side like this. And then, that's how he was inside. They're not so good. Jackie and Christine will explore the home to confirm any spirit activity. Hummed it before. I can't get over how big this house is. It's massive, isn't it? Do you know what I feel as though? That, when I first walked in there, I wanted glass all down there on the floor. And that is strange because there's like a dresser here that's got, I feel there's, there should obviously yeah, be something the in the middle of this. Yeah. Oh, change of atmosphere here. Yes. Yep. This is children. Children. Yep. 
Oh, <laughs> wooden toys. We got wooden toys. Martha, the homeowner, has also felt a presence in this room. A lot of banging, a lot of, you'd hear basically like heavy work boots, but with really hard soles. It sounded like they would pick something up like the typewriter downstairs or an anvil and they'd just crash it on the floor. And then you'd come up here and nothing. I think we should go along with what we think that um, the children were here and they were taught very harshly. Yes. And they weren't dealt with very kindly. No, uh, no. It's a feeling like um, almost as if being shut away. That's it. Yeah. That's shut it. Away. You know, like a punishment type thing? Yeah. I wonder if we can get one of them to come forward and say something to us. Samuel. We've got Samuel? Yes. OK. Can you come forward? Are you trapped here? Um, have you got the other children with you? I can see a hand on a... on a glass door thing turning. So they were put in somewhere and there's a glass handle. Is there a handle on the other side? I can't see through. No. I can't see through. The rescue mediums have made contact with the lost children, but will they be able to show them into the light? Following their initial contact, the rescue mediums, Jackie and Christine, now focus on saving the lost children of Wolf Island. Ow. You got the head again? No, I just smacked it on there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely, absolutely straight away got Samuel here again. Mm -hmm. OK. We have lots of spirit children around here. But the little boy is actually coming to stand in front of you, Chris. OK. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this full of light and I'm going to ask these children to move forward to the light because I know they want to go forward to the light. Yes, you do. I know. You come. We'll just go forward one step at a time and take you through one by one. You can all stay together, that's not a problem. I'm going to fill the room full of light now. And if anybody feels this feeling of intense sadness, let it just go with you because we're going to go through. There you go, there's the light. Can you all see that? All go through together. Keep moving forward. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Ooh. The lonely spirits of the lost and abandoned children are finally put to rest. But a far more disturbing spirit has the rescue mediums in his sights. One that Martha has encountered before. I was doing kinesiology results. This little corner right here, we would be sitting at this table, and I had a girl who came over. It, we were probably into it about five minutes, and she's, this woman started making really strange sounds, moaning, groaning. She starts to get these really, really dark circles under her eyes, and her hands are contorting, and she's going and shrinking, and she's now saying that she's evil. Through the spirit talking, we found out he was a 67-year-old priest who was quite high up. He felt evil. He, felt, he said he'd done a lot of really bad things, and he felt that he was going to burn in hell and he was never going to be forgiven. So we, now, we are saying then that this is the priest's house, and we think that he is the negative energy. One of the priests, yeah, is yeah. a negative Energy. energy. He's it's allowing us. No, he's allowing now. us to look around. Mm. He's been very civil with us so far. Mm. The night is young. Well, he's not coming anywhere near us, is he? I don't feel him around at all. No. It's frustrating, though, isn't it? You know they're here and. And they won't come and talk to you. So 
so many rooms. Just walk along there and see if you can smell anything. Smell? I, mean, I, I know we've got the candles lit, but... Yeah, I can smell the candles. What, here? Yeah. No. Why? What are you smelling? Sweat. No. Well, it's not me. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> It's, it's moving around. The sweat? Yeah, there is a body with the sweat, but it's oh, moving right. around. Oh, right, sorry. Right. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> it's like a piece of sweat. <laughs> so we have a stinky ghost. We've got a stinky ghost. I think he's really weighing us up. Well, I'm really, really fed up now. The rescue mediums finally make contact with the priest. But will he prove to be too powerful? <laughs> the rescue mediums have still not made contact with the spirit of the mysterious priest on Wolf Island. But that is about to change. OK, but you can't stay here doing this thing. You can't stay here giving a negative energy. So you either let us help you or we will have you stopped doing what you're doing. Sicky again. Yeah. <laughs> really yeah. Sicky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can put as many conditions on us as you want to, but it will not stop us from trying to get you over to the light. This man died in this house. Thomas died in this house. There is something very strange. I feel as though I've even I could have taken my life yes. away. Yes. Yes. Don't do that. What's he doing now? He's blowing down my ear. I, I've got blowing right down my ear. What's going on? Jackie? Jack, don't let him overshadow. Don't. It's not safe to do that. Right? The spirit of the priest proves too powerful for Jackie and Christine on their first attempt. The rescue mediums decide to rethink their approach. If the body of the priest can be found in the nearby graveyard, this will confirm their premonitions and strengthen their next attempt. It's got to be around here somewhere. I can think of better ways of spending an evening. Well, yeah. I'd rather stay at home with a cup of tea. <laughs> Samuel. Hey? Samuel. What does it say? Yeah. 12 Age. years old. 12 years old. Wow. That's our Samuel yeah. then. Yeah. This one. Is that December? Daniel! 7th? Yeah. That's the we Daniel. got Daniel. Yeah. So that's all the children buried together. Oh. Thomas. There he is. Thomas J. Spratt died June 3rd, 1915. Oof. Armed with the new knowledge from the grave, Jackie and Christine return to Wolf Manor for their final attempt to rescue the wayward priest. Okay, Thomas, we know you can hear us. We know that you're here in this room with us. You've been following us around all the time. We need to help you to go forward to the light. You do not have to fear God. We understand that you are upset and that you are frightened. It is not painful. You will not burn in the fires of hell. Because Thomas is of a Catholic religion, yes. we're using Catholic um, symbols to help him to pass into the light because he is afraid. This is holy water has been blessed. Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. The Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art those amongst women. The spirit of Thomas the priest envelops Jackie and she is powerfully overshadowed. Christine manages to continue with the rescue. The spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, without ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Jack, come, Jack, 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 come, 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 come. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, is he gone? <laughs> With the heavy atmosphere in the home finally lifted, Christine is inspired to create one last psychic drawing. The children that were in the pool room, billiard room, okay, that went through to the light, um, they wanted me to give you this. This is Samuel, you know, the little boy that came first in the middle. And they wanted me to do this because they're all smiling now because you allowed us to come here mm -hmm. and do this and help them through into the light. They wanted me to say, so this is their gift Thank back you. to you. OK? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> Have the rescue mediums uncovered all the secrets of Wolf Manor? Oh, wow. Following the rescue, independent research into the home is given to Jackie and Christine. The rescue mediums will review this research with the homeowners and get some surprising results. So if we start with the children first. This is children. 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 Samuel was the strongest uh, of the children to come through. I, I've definitely, absolutely straight away got Samuel here again. And uh, there is... Um, Samuel in the old graveyard, which he was about 12 to 13 when he passed. I have something else here as well. I forgot about this. That links in with this. And in the notes here, we mentioned was a big old book, an old Bible. Oh. We found this. In, <laughs> this actually belonged to one of the, the priests here, who we'll come to in a minute. Mm -hmm. but this. Look at this. It's um, to my mother, and then it's a poem. But on the back, it's signed Samuel. Ooh. And this also was inside this Bible in Samuel. Okay. And it's a child's dream. And it, yeah, well, it's about two children and one little boy is sort of asking about, you know, what happens, what would he... Would he what happens when we die? When we die type of thing, yeah. No, it was just relevant, that way. There's something else quite significant about this Bible as well, because as we flip through the pages, there's a calendar in here that says October, when the Reverend John Foley died in October. He's buried in the graveyard, and he's buried with a chap called Thomas Spratt. And this is the Thomas that we've had all the, well, you've had all the problems with. I think Thomas was a very troubled man. Um, I think that he, um, because of how he was brought up, he was really restricting to other people. His presence in this house was very, very strong. Um, the interesting thing as well that we found out is that um, there were four nuns uh, at Kingston who were born actually on the island, and they would have all been children when he was here. So he would have had quite an influence on, on these people. Remember we looked at this picture? That's Thomas Spratt. Oh, wow. So if you put glasses onto this face. Oh, wow. Even though the spirit of Thomas has gone through into the light, he leaves one final message for Rod and Martha. Well, last night at, uh, what was it, 5, 5.15, uh, we were both asleep, 
and I heard a breaking glass. It made a sound. It was not a vase or a, it well, sounded like... Woke us both up. I thought maybe the wind or something had blown a glass table over outside and I went outside, there was no wind. I checked every inch of my house. Mm -hmm. I went outside. I was inside. I haven't found any evidence of glass. When we first came into this house, and it's, it's, it's all on camera, we said that there was broken glass on the floor that we could see symbolically. I wanted glass all down there on the floor. Spirit always confirm when we've done an investigation, they always confirm with the householder to say that we've done the job right. Now, this can be in various forms. With you, it's broken glass, my dear. Well... So how, sure. how do you explain that? Um, I haven't <laughs> been able to explain it at this moment, but I haven't given up also, so... OK. So this is a rescue of a house as well, isn't it? Ah. Rescue of the children, rescue of, yeah. of Thomas. And I feel I started the... We started the rescue. Oh, you did. yeah, absolutely. You thank you because you finished it. Yeah. Yeah, enjoy bye. the bike. Bye. Bye. Thank you bye so bye. much. Bye. bye. Aren't they cute? They are. Bye. <laughs>